between kindergarten and second grade, students learn about hexagons. You know, hexagons. They got six sides. Everybody's got that. But they also have six corners, six vertices, as well as six angles. This is different from a regular hexagon. A regular hexagon has six equivalent length sides. In addition to having six vertices like a standard hexagon, it has six equal measure angles. So let's use this. Let's divide our regular hexagons because of these features into equal parts, starting from the center to the corners. When you do this, you create six equal portions, all the triangles similar. Once you take the boundaries away, now all of a sudden you have two sixths for each section, which you can then demonstrate equals one third. You can do this with any regular polygon, from triangles, squares, pentagons, octagons as well. Any regular polygon can be divided up into equal portion triangles, which can be partitioned and labeled as unit fractions. Looking at circles, students around the fifth grade begin to understand that circles contain an angle measure of 360 degrees. Now they can use this understanding of angle measurements as far as fractions of a circle. If you take a 90 degree angle, that is one fourth of a circle. Simplified 90 over 360. If you take half of a circle, one of those halves equivalent is 180 over 360, 180 degrees. You can even take this the other way to show that a 45 degree angle is equivalent to 1 eighth of the circle, 45 over 360 